This week, Teachers on Hiatus was in Western South Carolina. This week, we met up with old friends, continued geocaching, but most importantly, enjoyed the spectacular mountains of Western South Carolina. More springtime. Woohoo! Okay. So most of the park offices here in the South Carolina parks are usually closed. They're only like open like one hour a day. But we just met the most amazing manager. She would not let me videotape her. She's like, I don't do that. <laughs> but she was hilarious. So please come to Musgrove Mill Historic State Park and meet her. I don't know her name. Don't know it either. <laughs> driving today from the Midlands up to the to the foothills to the mountains and on our way we're stopping to look at some interesting South Carolinian uh, quirky stuff like the statue of like Bates now this guy is actually incredible he lost his leg at 12 in a cotton mill accident taught himself to tap dance using a peg leg and uh, was actually quite famous he was on the Ed Sullivan show uh, he performed for the King and Queen, uh, kind of a big deal, but he is from this town called Fountain Inn, South Carolina. Not an inn. Not it's an inn. City. It's actually just a city. Well, a town. <laughs> well, there's probably an inn here. So there's this uh, grave uh, for this three-year-old um, right on this corner here. Layla. Layla Howell. Nobody knows much about her except that for uh, some reason they put her uh, grave right there. the likes of that in a minute. Many a moon. Many a moon. <laughs> and we are right on the lake. There's a little trail that goes down there. This is a pretty nice little spot I'd say. Friend Kova! Friend Kavanda has taken us to where the locals like to eat. Space available. That sounds interesting. Oh wait, sorry. Stax's Bakery, right there. All right, what'd you get, Kavanda? I got chicken Alfredo D'Antonio. Ooh, and Ruben took about an hour to pick his. Droop of fingers, fried okra, and taters. Awesome. And I went with uh, Low Country Shrimp and Grits. <laughs> so what are we doing, Ruben? We're showing Kavanda geocaching. Yeah, geocaching is what happens when nerds go outside. <laughs> That's very well disguised. Bucket. It doesn't even have a bright green lid on it. Does. Yeah, I could barely tell it was over here. Twist. <laughs> now this is a much more hidden geocache. Kavanda keeps surprising us with places to go. We don't know what she's punching into her GPS right now. Mm, don't look. Oh, that's the weather app. <laughs> oh. We have no idea where Miss Kvanda is taking us. It could be any of these places. The plot thickens. <laughs> where are we going? <gasps> Flowers and fall. Oh, this is really cool. Good job, Kvanda.
Head State Park today and this is really the first time we've been in the mountains with some real hiking uh, in a while since mm -hmm. we've we've been in the lowlands and on the coast and so today we're gonna do some pretty serious uh, hiking probably get a little bit sore tomorrow yeah we're in the Blue Ridge Mountains <music> the strenuous hike that we wanted. Yee. this waterfall but man uh, <laughs> that kind of kicked my butt it's been a it's been a while since we've hiked that much all right for those of you at home should we play over under or around Fun little game. What do you think? Do 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 do. Ding ding ding. I'm gonna go over. Morning. Hi from Table Rock State Park where we are going to go on a pretty strenuous and lengthy uh, hike today. Yeah, I'm gonna do almost 12 miles. Yeah, cross our fingers. Um, we do have to get back in time for Ruben to have a very important appointment with the beard doctor. Indeed. He's getting a trim mm -hmm. in town. So we, <laughs> <laughs> so extra. <laughs> Let's go hike. Ruben is off to get his beard doctoring and I'm going to the laundromat. I don't know who's going to have more fun. Hi. <laughs> we are at Oconee Station State Historic, uh, wait, it's a very long title. 
<laughs> Station Historic Site State Park or something like that. Anyway, there's a connector trail that goes between this um, this state park and another state park, the Oconee State Park, just three miles away. So we're going to do that and see if we can uh, hike another trail once we're out there before the weather comes in. It's going to rain. <laughs> sure what to do what are our options we can go that way or we can go that way could you be more descriptive <laughs> we can go to a bold knob thing and do a lookout or we can go to a nature center and get your stamp i know it's like is the stamp or the view a better option mm. and it's kind of cloudy so mm. i don't know i guess you're just gonna have to wait exactly Point two milliseconds to find out. Go on to the state park. We uh, we didn't make it before the rain came, but we're almost back. Yeah. Morning from our campsite at Devil's Fork. Boo. Or afternoon. <laughs> oh yeah, we had a lazy morning. So we were going to go kayaking, but the water's a little bit rough today. So uh, after the lazy morning, we decided to go do some geocaching. Yeah, South Carolina has actually had like a lot of geocaching and we've had so much fun doing it lately. That we're gonna we're... go do more. Yeah, we're just gonna go have fun uh, up here in these beautiful foothills. On our last day here, we head into North Carolina tomorrow. Woohoo! 